afternoon, Tigers. I'm McCartney. And I'm Rose. We've got some exciting updates for you today, starting with a closer look at the engineering program. At WCHS, students dive deep into the world of engineering, exploring various dimensions and preparing for a promising future. Let's hear from some of our young engineers. Hi, I'm Sun with WCSN. Have you ever wondered what goes on in our engineering classes? I went to find out today. Um, it's a really fun class. You get to build. It's really like chill pretty much and it's like a fun class to take. Um, this is my first year. I'm a freshman, but I hope to take a lot more classes. We're building catapults actually and uh, I think it's pretty fun how we get to do projects every once in a while. I've learned that you can take most situations and make better of them either with what you have before completely starting over. The life skills I've seen from engineering is just the ability to solve problems, especially mechanical problems, and when you solve those problems you become more not only self-aware but self-confident. If you like math or science or if you want to learn how to use the machines or if you're not sure of what you want to do but it isn't just like sitting down. If you don't like sitting down and you want to move around, I think that you should take intro to engineering. If you're someone who likes to move, who likes to use things and get their hands dirty, things like that. Engineering is a one of the most broad fields. There are over 130 types of engineers and um, you can be anything from a an engineer who simply conceptualizes things to an engineer who runs a Fortune 500 business. I really like to build stuff and like to design the plans and I want to be an engineer so it's a really fun class that I think it's fun to take. If you like to work with your hands and make things, this is a very cool place to come because you get to learn a lot of different approaches to how to make things and the skills that you learn in here also can translate into a lot of different fields and careers in ways that we would just bore you if we listed off, um, but it's funny how a lot of the things that we do in here pop up in other parts of your life. I would tell you that it's a good career path to take and it can help you learn valuable skills in your future. If I was to try to convince you to take engineering, I would tell you that. That even if you don't want to be strictly an engineer, engineering helps you in all aspects of life, not just if you want to be an engineer. Thanks so much for meeting with me. Tigers, make sure to check out our engineering classes. This has been Sutton with WCSN. Fantastic. The next generation of engineers looks promising. They sure do. And speaking of promising, our soccer teams have had a very great season. Let's take a look at the offseason. Hey Tigers, I'm Isaac here at WCSN. Both of our soccer teams had very successful seasons. Now, let's look ahead to the offseason and see what they do to prepare. Uh, my favorite part about soccer is um, the relationships we get to build, um, the friends I make, and I'm um, just getting better. What I love about soccer is just having to compete with everyone, and friends are supporting you always, and just you're having a great time. My favorite part of the season was probably just winning games and just feeling the joy of everyone wanting to win and getting out there and working hard to achieve that goal. Um, my goals for next year are going to be just staying humbled, uh, just getting better as a team, uh, try to win conference, uh, sectionals, maybe on to regionals if we could win sectionals and maybe to, uh, bring home a state champ. Uh, my goals next season are to start varsity and get some assists probably and then just help the team out and win. I plan on achieving those goals by training in the summer, training on off days and just always working hard. Well obviously we're going to have to score more and then a lot of work in the off season. Work hard throughout the off season and then I'll come back better and then come back stronger with my teammates. Wow, nicely said. Sadly, our Warsaw Lady Tigers were knocked out in sectionals by Northrop. Fortunately though, our male Tigers won sectionals and advanced on the regionals. Unfortunately though, regionals didn't turn out how they wanted to and their season is over. And that's all from me. I'm Isaac with WCSN. Our athletes always make us proud. Keep it up team. Absolutely, and for those of you who might not know about the Clothes Closet at WCHS, it's an incredible resource for our students. Let's find out more. I'm Kate. I'm Taylor. And we're monitors for the closet. Let's go. The 
These racks were made by our very own wacky welders. Our closet was originally the size of this closet right here and we turned it into this huge room and all these clothes were donated. The closet was um, originally just kind of a thing to get out of study hall, but over time it's been like, first off it's bonding with Taylor. That's been a lot of fun. We always play music in there and it's great. I mean the clothes, we haven't opened it officially yet, but I'm really excited for when all of our hard work is paid off and the organization with all of the clothes is like, every, the kids they can come in there and they really need it. it makes you feel great about yourself, <laughs> that you're helping with something that they really need. I like helping people with the closet and I feel like once it opens and like seeing people around school um, just wearing some of the clothes in the closet I think it will like fill my heart and know that I help someone in need. When me and Kate first started it we walked in there's like piles of clothes all over the floor barely like any hangers nothing was organized and we really tried to put our work into it to see the closet really organized. Um, seeing like all the hangers and everything like on racks and everything makes me feel good because then it's easier for everyone to find things and I hope it helps people get clothes and their needs. We are very in need of like underwear garments like bras, underwear socks. We have a lot of like shirts and t-shirts but undergarments are our main thing and we accept any donations of hangers or anything like that. Hi I'm Mrs. Lancaster and several years ago myself and Mrs. Campbell saw a need for uh, starting a closet and uh, we found out the counseling department had done something like that and they were ready to pass on that baton. And so when we first created the closet, it was literally a two-doored closet. Although that worked in the very beginning, we very soon realized that was not gonna be enough space for the clothing we were getting donated and the clothing we needed. So. When Mr. Barkey started working for the director of the Career Center, we asked him if there would be any other space we could use. We had a particular office in mind, and uh, when we took that over, it was a blank canvas, just a massive room, and how do we do this? So we're so thankful for the help of Wacky Welders, who created the clothing racks, and then countless clothing items that have come in from surrounding elementary schools that have their own closets that uh, had more adult clothing. Now we're ready to take it to the next level. How do you access the closet? Teachers, if you go to the Click It landing page and look for the closet, you'll click on a Google form and once you click on that Google form, it'll route it to myself and if we don't have it in the closet, we ask that you give us a 24 hour window so we can buy what is needed and we can provide for our students here. We're really hoping to now move to that next level on Fridays, creating a core called The Closet and allowing students to sign themselves out. We haven't gotten that running yet, but that's what we're hoping to do because we have clothing and we don't want it just to sit there. So if you see a student in need, definitely reach out to us, let us know what they need, but we also have a lot here on campus. So we're so thankful for all the generosity and we hope our Tigers get the clothing they need. It's heartwarming to see our school community looking out for one another. Definitely. And if you're in the mood for some drama, the Warsaw Theater Department's upcoming production of My Heart Says Go is a must watch. Check out this trailer about the upcoming show.
I've got my tickets already, and I can't wait. Same here. Lastly, let's dive into the heart of WCHS as we explore the efforts of our school's inclusivity council. Good morning, Warsaw Tigers. My name is Riley Ellis, and I'm here to introduce you guys into inclusivity council. Hi, I'm Mandy Bailey, uh, one of the hosts of Inclusivity Council. I'm so excited to be a part of this this year. Um, Ms. Dinsey and I both and all of the students in Inclusivity Council love to make everyone feel welcome at Warsaw Community High School. And we hope to inspire more welcoming attitudes uh, from everyone towards everyone. And we look forward to coming up with productive solutions to make great positive change. Hi, I'm Ms. Dinsey, and I am one of the teachers that helps oversee our Student Inclusivity Council uh, program here at the high school. And the reason we have this council is because in our high school, we want everyone to feel welcome and supported. Those are two of our norms that we have here, and it's um, a big deal, I think, because you're going to spend four years here as a student. And we want you to come into our hallway, into our building, into our classrooms, and we want you to know that you matter and that you're important and that you're valid just as you are. Um, My name is Finn Brander. I'm one of the presidents for Inclusivity Council. So the president's job is to oversee everything, basically, and we also run the social media. So go check that out if you haven't already. If you want to make the school a better place for everybody, and if you want to have fun, definitely come to one of our meetings, which is every Tuesday during CORE. It's great to see our school making strides towards the Absolutely. Well, Tigers, that's all the school news we have for you today. Don't forget to 